Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Hexen, Death Kings of the Dark Citadel expansion pack. So what I'll be doing is jumping down here to find uh, some friendly enemies here that should be familiar to you. The uh, centaurs that shoot at me should most certainly be familiar if you watched my main game Let's Play. <laughs> you would know that they are my favorite enemy, so anyways collect some items here we see some more items down there another portal and uh, let's continue on these doors closed both these doors are closed and I need the cave key so let's go get the cave key hopefully oh boy we have some serpents down there ready to kick my ass and again this hub music is notably absent it's very odd in the main game, every single level had music, so I don't understand why the expansion does not. More flechettes, and I will head up the stairs. Let's see. There's nothing here but a torch. Well, okay, so the wall lowers. That's interesting. I kind of figured because I need the cave key. I literally can't go anywhere else. Ah, interesting path we're taking here. Many gargoyles green mana. Hopefully my third weapon's around soon. Let's see. Oh, I see the cave key up there. Yes, here it is. Where's the guard? Oh, there you are. So I'm going to go ahead and jump up here. Grab the cave key. Pull the switch. Trigger the switch, actually. Ooh, there's a little centaur in there. Go ahead and clip take him out before I have to deal with him later. See, this is a long process you have to do to take out the centaurs if you're uh, the cleric with his second weapon, but once we get our third weapon, they should be. They won't be nearly as much of a problem, so. Oh, okay, so this is how you come back here. The stairs seem to have. Oh, no, they're still here. Well, how do I get over there? Get back. Let me. Hold on. This side has the torch. Okay, no, never mind. Um, I wanted to get in that room. Is it possible? No, it doesn't seem like it is. No, I guess I get in there. Oh, I get in there through the uh, side. I, I understand. Okay, well, let's go back and uh, open this. And this is how we get in here. Ah, okay. Go ahead and just drop down. Oh, hey, buddy. Sucks about the ones that shoot you is that you cannot tell when their shields are up. So, okay, so we killed him, and we can jump up here. Jump up here and grab this chaos device. And uh, let's head through the portal. Oh god, no, not these guys. Fuck. Okay, thankfully I killed them. That was an ambush. I did not like that. So what we're going to do is let's head up here first. Get some health from our enemies. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very, very generous of you. And the whole level is shaking. Interesting. Since we're getting green mod, I'm assuming my third weapon is in here, actually. We seem to get all our weapons very quickly. I can't go down there yet, so logical thing is to drop down here, disc repulsions. And uh, instead of going up there, I'm going to go right. Since I can't seem to go top left yet, so... Alright. Here we have a lift. Can I take the lift? No, it seems I cannot take the lift right now. Interesting. Let's continue heading down. Look at all these gargoyles, man. Ooh, a torch. I'm sure, that'll be useful. Actually, it might be... Ooh. I'm going to kill these enemies first. Huh, man, that's weird. We have another piece of our Wraith Urge right here. So it's two-thirds of the way complete, and this is only part... This is only episode two. Flip this switch and continue on. Huh. Man, I wonder how hard this hub's gonna be if it wants me to have my final weapon this early. All these flechettes, and let's continue left while we're down here. The entire map is still shaking. And here's a crater of might. Wow, we're getting meaty with the items. And, uh, I think the cave is, like, reconfiguring itself, because it's been shaking a lot. Yeah, sort of annoying while you're trying to fight enemies, but... Let's see. Yeah, see, that that's moving, so... And Chaos Serpents is shooting at me from somewhere. Alright, well, I'm going to head left here. This is interesting. 
I sort of know where I'm going, but I'm a little lost, so... We need the swamp key, okay, so... Maybe we get the swamp key later. Man, this is just one level in the first hub, too. First hub of the expansion. Discs of repulsion. Plenty of gargoyles in this expansion, too. Oh, boy. Come on. There we are. And see, in the middle there, we have our, uh, we have our jewel for the puzzle of the main hub. So you can go ahead and jump and grab it. You have not completed the puzzle. <laughs> oh, that's sinister. Okay, well, apparently I can't grab it yet. Um, ooh, this place has revealed itself. Oh, shit. A bunch of enemies have respawned. Hardest difficulty. Jeez, man. Oh, boy. Come on, let's take out the, ser the serpent. And this area seems to have... Uh, changed quite a bit for me. That's good though. So now I can move across here. Hopefully nothing collapses beneath me since everything's still moving it seems. That's scary. Well, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, jump across. I'm going to save actually. And uh, and uh, let's jump up. Let's jump ahead and see what happens. This opens for you, and a bunch of Chaos Serpents are in there, so I'll go ahead and take them out from back here, because they are very deadly. They kill you in just about three or four shots. So, uh, come back here, Quartz Flask, Health. Pull the switch, and one-third of the puzzle is solved for just this level? They, they really upped the difficulty for the puzzles, it seems. So, I'm going to go ahead and save each time before I... Wait a minute. This isn't what I think it is, is it? No, I didn't. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'm full on ammo. Well, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, save right here before I go into each of these. So, As you can see, the map is still shaking even during the pause screen. That's cute. Oh, well, I'm actually too scared to jump back because of how far it is. So hopefully I can kill all these enemies. Come on. Oh, 35 health. Even while you're taking health from them, they still do more damage than you take health. Two thirds of the puzzle is solved. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. Another gargoyle. And uh, I will go ahead and save one more time because this is well. I saved for good reason. Um, some gargoyles behind me. I'm gonna be saving a lot during this let's play because it is quite unfamiliar territory, and I'll be doing the same thing here. Um, yeah, it definitely seems like, you know, the difficulty from the main game, it kept going up and up and up. It seems as if the difficulty retained from the main game, and it's continually going up, so you have to have prior knowledge of the main game, you know? So, anyway, go ahead and trigger this, run back. Ah, alright, let's fight these guys from back here. You fucking gargoyles. Come on. Okay. 44 health. I can use a course flask. I have plenty of them. So now let's make it over here. The puzzle's complete. Alright. And now I can grab my flame mask as a reward. And leave this area because the gargoyles sure are annoying and I don't like falling. <laughs> so, okay. Well now with the mask we can uh, make it back to the puzzle room. Let's see. Okay. Oh! Here we have some enemies spawning. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, this expansion is pretty, uh, pretty aggressive. I don't know if I'll be able to beat it in the hardest difficulty. I'm having, I'm having trouble already. It's supposed to be quite a challenge. I like a good challenge, though. So we head all the way up. Oh, look at all the enemies that respawn. That's, that's insane. I'm sort of glad I'm the cleric now because honestly he is better than the mage, but I prefer using the mage. The mage has always been my favorite, but you'll see that the cleric will have his uses. So three parts of the puzzle remain. We need three more masks for this area just to get that one jewel. Man, okay. Piece of armor over here and uh, let's head up this way. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and save before I hit that switch. So, alright. 
get on the lift, and the lift takes us down, and... Oh, God, no! There are Wendigos, Wendigos! Okay, well, it's a good thing I saved. And, um, let's go back down there. It's a good thing I have pl plenty of course flasks. Oh, man, it's gonna be so satisfying to kill these guys with my final weapon. See, look, 31 health. 31 health from that. That's insane. Let's see. Hopefully I got them all. Nope, there's one more. Hopefully that's it. Okay, so let's uh, head this way. Kill all the Wendigos that we can. As fast as we can. Oh man, 57 health already. That's disgusting. Mm. And I have one health left! One health left! Oh. Okay, well, uh... I actually can't go there because I learned my lesson. So... And we have more Wendigos in here? Okay. Hopefully I cleared them all out. I really hope so. I hear more. Alright, so there's one down there. There's one to my left. Man, I don't like using all my course flasks just because they're a bunch of Wendigos. But I guess I don't really have a choice in the matter, so... Get some health from the Edmonds. Where's the other Wendigo? I need to kill him before he just gets me off guard. Okay, so I think I've cleared them all. Nope. I speak way too soon when it comes to these enemies, don't I? Oh, oh, no, no, I have 11 health. Time to run. Time to run. Okay. <sighs> that is truly insane. Oh, I really hope Wendigos don't ever respawn on me. Seems like I'm getting Ettons and Gargoyles spawning on me. And, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and save and see if I can jump down there. And it seems I can, huh? You cannot enter from the other side, that's for sure. So, we take this down. What happens when you enter from the other side? It says, it says this floor is not safe and it immediately drops and kills you. So, it's very dark. Here we have another flame mask. Ooh, and this teleports you to the beginning. Okay. Well, I sort of want to go back because there's that lava area I did not explore, so... And look at all these enemies and how quickly they've respawned. Like, the, the quantity of enemies and how, how quickly they're respawning, that's... That's insane. I mean, I'm sure I don't have that much ammo. <laughs> you know? Like, in the main game of Hexen, you had just enough ammo. But this is something else. See, look at it. It seems they respawn everywhere. I almost have to kill 200 enemies this level. Anyways, let's place another mask. Two more parts of the puzzle remain. Okay. Well, let's head back down. That's insane. Oh my gosh, look at all these gargoyles. Okay, well, uh... Yes, yeah, so let's head over here. Man, look at all these ends. That's crazy. We'll grab all these flechettes here, and uh, let's head to the lava area back here. Here we have more gargoyles, more ends. And it seems we need another key. We might have to come back to this level, folks. Go ahead and grab the stuff from the lava. And uh, it seems we can head down there. I don't know how to access that area yet, though. So, um, Is that all we can do? I believe that's all we can do down here, because I don't have the horn key. Yeah. So, well, I can, actually, I can head up back here. And uh, let's see. Run across all the rocks, open this door, trigger the switch, and triggering the switch does what? I'm assuming it opens down here. Yes, it does. Okay. And uh, here is another flame mask and a porculator. I'm sure dropping down is death, so I'm not going to drop down. And let's open this door. Okay. And here is another lift. Gargoyle will take the health from. We come up. And we are... Ooh! Piece of armor. And is that it? Oh, this comes down like I figured it did. And we're back here. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to go ahead and place the mask. Why not? 
More enemies respawning, that's fucking insane. Fucking A. Alright, well, let's head back here. I will place the mask. I think I have one more mask to go. Okay. One more part of the puzzle remains. And I do not have another mask, so let's see. Let's pull this switch. I actually think there's a way to go up, so I'm just gonna stay on the elevator and see what happens. Yes, we go down, but I know it goes up. Aha! Okay. Oh, and I go down if I'm not quick enough. Yeah, okay, game, I apologize. Apologize for not being fast enough for you. Damn, Etten's got in my way. Alright, well, let's see what happens when you enter this area. And we're in a tomb-type room. Not really a tomb, but it looks like a chapel. Very sinister looking. Many enemies in here. I don't know how I'm not running out of ammo. Seems like I'm just shooting forever, but I'll take it. And uh, I'm not going to go over the fact that there's no music. I hope there's... I hope it's not like every single level just doesn't have music in this le in this expansion. That would be odd. So... Alright, well, we can grab some items. For some reason, I feel like there's a trap inbound somewhere. It's a chaos device. Let's see. Alright, well, all I'm going to do is jump up here. And there's a switch. Ooh, what does that do? And this is coming down, and here's another flame mask. Wonderful, so we got all the flame masks in this level. Oh shit, yep, yep. I figured that was gonna happen. For some reason I pictured, I pictured dark bishops though, not uh, chaos serpents, but we haven't seen any dark bishops in the expansion yet. And we can come back here. Oh no, these are where all the monsters were hiding. Alright. Well, we can go, oh, this does come down. Well, we can solve the puzzle for this level, but I feel like we come back because of the swamp key and the horn key, so. Oh, cool. Some coarse flasks. Good, I needed those. Alright, well, let's go ahead and uh, solve the puzzle. And uh, hopefully it'll let me grab the gem. Puzzle is complete. I can go ahead and save because it looks like I have to make a jump here. Oh, okay, and I got the sapphire plan, so now we can exit this level. Okay. Let's see. I believe that's all there is to us. I'm not going to bother with those enemies. They don't stop respawning, so... I can now exit this area. Seems we've done everything so far. So let's go back. And I am now back in the main hub, the Blight. So we can go ahead and place one. Let's see. There we are, and that will be the end of this episode. So I will see you all in episode three.